So here I have this miter saw, and what I need to do is actually add the top, uh, the attachment here uh, to the top of the exhaust of this guard plate. And um, I could design it, but instead I want to uh, demonstrate some geometry reuse. So here I'm going to open up the uh, a sander. And what I'm going to do then is turn off the, the sander dust bag. And I'm interested in just using this geometry here on this back side. I want to use it over onto the miter saw. So what I can do here is uh, utilize our split body and remove geometry I, I don't need anymore. And just come in here and select on this solid. And I'm going to use familiar uh, copy-paste. So here... In the clipboard, I can copy that geometry from this one part and tab over to the part I'm in the middle of designing, which is the miter saw guard with the dust exhaust, and just paste it right here in place. So it's a simple copy and paste from one part to another. And then I can move and rotate uh, this solid and... Uh, and then put it into place using some assembly conditions, align and center, and pop that right uh, into the right location, as you can see there. And uh, you can see here it's actually hollow. And so what I want to do is simplify this by just going and using fill. You can simplify the, the model. And now if I uh, go ahead and expand this, this, this assembly here is called guard as a body, as the outlet, and then the top. And um, what I'm going to do now is what I, I want to combine these into one component. Okay, so just by hitting combine and selecting on all three, I've combined them into a single part. You can see it's just one solid now. And what I can do now is just select on the top and shell, shell this part out and control select the bottom and shell there as well now I have a new uh, saw guard and exhaust outlet or sawdust outlet made uh, simply by uh, some geometry re reuse and copy and paste to quickly get the job done using space claim